All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the wiring for what it's worth. Again, this is uh, the first time I've ever done anything like this, so I've made a lot of mistakes and uh, I'm correcting some of them. I have already corrected some of them. I'll probably make more mistakes along the way, but I think this will be a great, um, great sort of lesson for anybody that's looking to do something like this. The reason why I wanted to show this is because I'm pretty much doing everything uh, for the wiring with inside. I mean, there's a lot you can be doing. A lot of people that have done the Hasbro version have basically put the thrusters in the back, the engines, and that's pretty much been it. In this specific case, I'm doing the docking lights, the, uh, the turret, uh, the cabin, and uh, the mandibles, and the engine. So I'm going to talk about what's going on here and give you an idea of some of the things that have worked, some of the things you may want to uh, try out. I'm actually discovered too that because of the turret that I'm going to have to do wiring uh, on the top part, I was hoping only to keep it on the bottom, but in order to keep those parts separate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect them via connector out here. So once this has been fastened, the last thing I'll be doing is connecting the top parts and the bottom parts together right here, and then I'll put the, uh, the, uh, the lid back on. So if you've done this before, I think there's like 27 or 23 screws that are holding these two top and bottom parts together. So you want to make sure everything's going to be right before you close that thing up. Um, it really suck to have to take that apart, which I'm sure I will, and then change a bulb or put something back in place. So let's take a look at what's over here. Said, first of all, I picked up this battery. It's a lithium rechargeable battery that I got for about 30 bucks. What I liked about this one, and you may see a lot of the blue ones, but I liked about this one, it was in a case. And uh, it's pretty heavy, it sits at the back. And what I've done here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy on so we can see some lights come on here and I'll talk about those in a moment. But basically the, um, the charger goes all the way over here and sticks out the side. Okay, so that's securely mounted in here, so anytime I need to charge the battery, I'll just basically take the side component off, the, uh, the docking area, and then plug that into the wall. Uh, I've been using this for two months now since it started, and I haven't really had to charge anything, so it's a very, very good battery. I'm sure it'll last for a very long time. Now, a couple of things. One of the mistakes that I made, but at the time I didn't know I, didn't know I was going to be doing this, is if you've already done the Falcon and you're working on it, right here, right here, right here and right here are the stubs that aren't really landing gears but they're just rest sort of mounts that go on there and so what I did in this specific case was is that I used styrene to uh, cut them out like everybody else has been doing and I used styrene and I made my own panels and I, I, I put them on the bottom and they, they look great now what I did in this specific case in the back is that I used metal here and here and here and here and I actually use magnets and those plates, those panels just click right in and they, they fit beautifully. Now this one's going to stay, it's perfectly fine and what I did in this specific case here is, is that I have uh, switches, two on off switches right over here and those are actually concealed. Okay. And so when you want to turn something on and off, it'll probably be the engine and, and the something else, I don't know why yet. Um, but basically when you want to turn those on and off, then what will happen here is that um, well, my lights are temporarily connected via this switch and they're, they're going off. I'm going to keep them on. So what's happening here is, is that when you turn them on and off, um, they'll turn on the docking lights or whatever that may be. As I said, those are concealed. Over here, I have two that are actually visible underneath. Now, they've been painted and they, they blend in. They're in some of the grooves and they're not that obvious, but at the same time in the future, I probably would uh, conceal them in here as well. Okay. One of the things I'm contemplating, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I did buy, believe it or not, uh, there's so much wiring in here. Some of this is getting a little bit hot. It's a little bit concerning. Uh, some of the resistors are tending to heat up a little bit. Um, I soldered on most of the resistors myself, okay? Um, I've let them run for a while. I haven't seen any fires yet, but at the same time, I've bought some fans, some 12 volt fans that I'm thinking of resting here and here. And so when they turn on, that they'll automatically be running at all times just to keep this, this cool on the inside. All right, to talk about some of the, the lights that are here. So I, the only thing I didn't do as far as lighting is concerned is going to be the big dome lights that go on the bottom of the Falcon. I think that in the actual Falcon, there's, there's like 20 something of them. And it was just not enough room in this specific model to do all of that and I just didn't want to go through the pain of, of working with that much wiring. So in this case I only added four. I know you probably can't see them but there's one here, one here, one here, and one here. 
then the rest are the dock lights. And I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve dock lights, I believe, that are over here. Some are off to the side in the, uh, the actual cabin. Um, those are all red. And then I have the mandible lights that are over here. And I actually had um, regular uh, white LEDs in here. And what I decided to do was because it was just not right. I've seen a lot of people use the white ones with the, with the curved bulbs. Actually, on an eBay, I found uh, the warm ones, which are more of the movie uh, accurate bulbs. Because basically, when you see the falcon going through the uh, the worm's belly at night or in the dark, it turns on the mandibles, the mandible lights, and they're like headlights. So they have this warm look to them. Now, I also got these as flatheads and they fit really nicely with the Shapeway parts, okay? So, I mean, you, know, you can see that they're very, very, um, they're, they're nested in there, so you don't get the cold bulb protruding out with this round, uh, you know, dome-looking bulb. It's very flat. It's, it, it's recessed in there very nicely. So there's that. All right. The next thing I'm going to be doing over here is that I actually have the, uh, the turrets that um, I would put on top. And this is where I am right now. I'm going to show you something. So I did this a couple of times, and I want to show you a trick that if you, if you work on this Falcon, uh, something you might want to keep in mind. So basically over here, um, this is not the trick, but you know, over here you do this. You punch this guy in here like this, okay? And basically put those holes in there, and this will at least cover a lot of the wiring and help pat this down so when I put the case back on, um, everything won't be getting in the way of screws, etc. Now, a couple things to note. This here is going to light up the back of the turret well, because when you look at the turret well, it's open at the bottom. The Shapeways version is open at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is use some of this frosted glass over this like this. So this frosted, this is not really glass, it's just frosted plastic. Tape it to the bottom of the turret well and have this light up from the bottom. Okay. I also have the uh, um, I'll talk about that in another video, but I also have the, uh, um, all of the fiber optics that I'm using for the turret itself and also the, the cabin when the time comes. Now, one thing that's really important when it comes to the engines, I saw people do a lot of different things. This is the Shapeways component again. This will go resting over here in the back like this. One thing that um, I recommend if you do this uh, that might be a huge benefit. What you'll have to do with this Falcon is that you're going to have to cut out the back wall here. Okay, there's a wall that's here. You're going to cut it out completely and uh, and then basically you're going to replace it with this. Don't throw out the plastic. What I did in this specific case, don't know if you can see this, is that I kept the plastic component and in this area over here I illuminated with LEDs and then what I'm going to do in this case is that it actually has some grooves at the bottom here that were part of the original construction and I just put those in these holes like this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this back a little bit and then I'm going to use um, another row over here probably across the front maybe just even straight haven't figured it out yet but something that is more of a frosting like this just to subdue the lights entirely they're very, very bright coming through. I've tested the, uh, the height. It's perfectly fine. I mean, it's, this is a lot of light blasting through. So you can see it maintains the curvature of the, the actual Falcon itself. And when I tested this, I was very, very pleased with the results. So, so far with the electrical, um, that's what it pretty much looks like. And um, I know it looks like a lot. It's a big mess. And, but, um, you know, it's, it's been a good learning experience. And hopefully you've been able to take away some of the... Uh, the thoughts and ideas that I've had in putting this together. Like I said, I've, I've gone through a couple of iterations, just even of this, and now it seems that I'm settling on this. So, you know, anyways, uh, comments are welcome, and um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch, and hopefully you, you got something out of this.